Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at string collections. Now if you remember from the previous tutorials, we looked at stacks, queues, and array lists. And all of those are collections. Now in this tutorial, we're going, to t we're going to be taking a look at string collections. Now string collections are very much like array lists, but instead of being able to store any data type you want in it such, a, uh, such as using an integer and then the next item in the list is a string then the next item is a double then maybe the next item is a, an object uh, of a class um, with string collections you can only use type string but you can add as many as you want and uh, it won't run out like an array so let's go ahead and get rid of this code that we used in the last tutorial and um, if you don't have that project saved, you can just make another one real quick. We didn't add anything to the form. We didn't do anything other than access the form one load event. So we're going to come up here and we're going to declare a string collection. So we'll call it string collection as new string collection. And let's see here. Okay, so if you got that same error that I got in the last, where it cannot find string collection, so if we type as new string collection, it's not there. So what we need to do is use the long form of this. So we'll just go ahead and type system dot collections dot, and now we're going to use the keyword specialized, and then string collection. So now that we've created our string collection we can go ahead and add some stuff to it so it's um, almost identical to array list so we can type string collection dot add and let's add Sam now we can also come up here and create an array and add that array to our string collection so we'll just type private my array as string and we'll set that equal to Joe, Jim, and Bob. And we can go ahead and add that in there using the same uh, add range. Now add range is um, also usable in uh, string collections and array lists. So we'll just add the range my array. So it's going to add all the items in there. Now we can also use string collection dot remove and we can remove Jim now we can also remove at so string collection dot remove at and it will remove at the index so let's remove at index zero so it's going to remove Sam so all we have left in our string collection is Joe and Bob so let's come over to our uh, form one right here and whenever the form one loads let's just add all the items of our string collection to a list box so we'll just go ahead and set the name property of this to list string collection so we'll come back here and uh, after we've initialized everything for our string string collection we'll type for each item as string in string collection then we'll just go ahead and type list um, string collection dot items dot add and we'll add item okay so now when we run this we should get Joe and Bob added to our um, list right here so we can also check to see if our string collection has a certain value in it so we can just store this in a boolean so we'll just go ahead and type dim and then we'll just call it is there as boolean and we'll set that equal to string collection dot and now we can type contains it says determines whether a specified string is in the string collection so we'll just see if it contains Jim and this contains function right here 
returns either true or false, which is why we declared is there as a boolean. And now I'll just type message box is there dot to string. So we convert that to a string and it should give us a value of false because we removed Jim from it. Now let's go ahead and close out of this here. Now we can see if it contains Joe and this will return a, a value of true. So go ahead uh, work a little bit with string collections if you're familiar with array lists um, by now string collections will be very easy for you to pick up um, and then once you got those down go ahead and stay tuned for the next tutorial and thanks for watching guys